In this video, I want to cover the TIE Fighter, one of the most recognizable and commonly used Imperial Starfighters in the Star Wars series. The TIE Fighter was first introduced in the 1977 movie Star Wars A New Hope and was commonly used by the Empire to fight against the Rebellion. There are several different variations of the TIE Fighter including the TIE Bomber, the TIE Interceptor, the TIE Defender, and the TIE Advanced X-1 which was used by Darth Vader. But in this episode, I just want to focus our attention to the standard TIE Fighter. The backbone and workhorse of the Galactic Empire, the TIE Fighter is identified with the Empire's influence and power. TIE Fighters are manufactured in massive numbers and are assigned to pilot as expendable asset, much like the pilot themselves. TIE Fighters are considered tools of the Empire's need and they were designed to be as efficient as possible for the job they do. The standard TIE model contains no deflector shields, hyperdrive, or life support system. For this reason, they have a much lower range of operation compared to other galactic space fighters and often need to be ferried into battle by other vessels such as the menacing Imperial Star Destroyer, Kazanti class cruiser, or the Quasar Fire class carrier. The TIE armament consists of a pair of LS-1 laser cannon with the missile tube added as needed. The laser cannon pack a powerful punch and can destroy or damage other starfighter. Its most distinguishing characteristic is a pair of hexagon wings on the port and starboard side of the ship. These wings double as a solar energy collector and heat exchanger which are used to power a twin ion engine. The TIE Fighter can also land upright, using a strong support frame as a landing struts. So what are your thoughts on the TIE Fighter? If you like learning more about Star Wars ships, I have a playlist on the right hand corner. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel to see more technical 3D animation. I also want to thank David Houston for help writing the script to this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.